Have you ever wondered how our ancestors managed to fish without the advanced gear we have today? It's a fascinating journey back in time, where primal instincts and resourcefulness were key. In the early days, fishing was less about sport and more about survival. Techniques were as simple as spear fishing, where a sharpened stick was all it took to catch a meal. From there, our ancestors began to innovate. They fashioned basic fishing nets from plant fibers or animal sinews, casting them into the water and hoping for a bountiful catch. And let's not forget the invention of the rudimentary fishing rod, a game changer that allowed for more precision and range. Various cultures around the world have their unique spin on these methods, each shaped by their environment and the types of fish they saw. This age-old practice wasn't just about sustenance, it was a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability. As time went on, these methods evolved, leading to more advanced and efficient fishing tactics. As humanity progressed, so did our fishing methods. From the moment our ancestors figured out that fish were more than just slippery creatures in the water, the art of fishing has been in a constant state of evolution. Let's cast our minds back to the early days of fishing, where primitive tools such as bone hooks and hand lines were the order of the day. This was a time when fishing was purely about survival, and the tools reflected this simplicity. However, as time passed, fishing began to evolve into something more than just a means of sustenance. The creation of fishing reels was a game changer, providing the ability to cast further and reel in bigger catches. These devices, initially made from bone and wood, have evolved into sophisticated tools with different types such as spinning, bait casting, and fly reels. The lines too, which were once made from horsehair or silk, have been replaced with durable materials like nylon and braided lines. Hooks and floaters saw similar transformations. From simple bone or shell hooks, we now have an array of options, each designed for specific types of fish. Floaters, once made from cork or wood, have become more buoyant and visible, making it easier to know when a fish bites. But it's not just the gear that has evolved. Fishing styles have also seen a significant shift. Fly fishing, for instance, where the fisherman uses a lightweight lure that imitates insects, became a popular method. Then there's trolling, a method where lines with baited hooks are dragged behind a moving boat. And let's not forget ice fishing, a style that has become synonymous with the cold winters of regions like Michigan. These innovations in gear and techniques have made fishing more than just an activity for survival. It has become a sport, a hobby, and for many, a cherished pastime. The evolution of fishing tactics and styles has also allowed us to better understand and respect the aquatic life that shares our planet. These advancements not only made fishing more effective, but also transformed it into a recreational activity enjoyed by many. Fishing is more than just a means to catch food. It's a rewarding experience that offers numerous benefits. It's a pastime that provides a sense of tranquility a break from the hustle and bustle of daily life. The quiet waiting, the gentle lap of the water against the hull, the tug on the line, all contribute to a sense of peace and stress relief that is hard to beat. Fishing also offers a unique connection with nature. Out on the water, with the sun glistening off the ripples, you're privy to the majesty of the great outdoors, a spectacle that's awe-inspiring and humbling in equal measure. The thrill of the catch is yet another reward. The anticipation, the fight, the victory, it's a sequence that teaches patience and perseverance. The respect for the catch, the understanding of its place in the ecosystem, instills a profound respect for nature. Indeed, fishing is a fulfilling hobby that brings joy and serenity to many. From primitive spears to advanced fishing rods, fishing has come a long way. Our ancestors who first waded into the waters with sharpened sticks could hardly have imagined the incredible variety of tactics and styles that we use today. From fly fishing to trolling, from using live bait to artificial lures, each method is a testament to human ingenuity and our deep connection with nature. Fishing isn't just about putting food on the table anymore, it has evolved into a beloved recreational activity. The thrill of the catch, the serenity of the water, the camaraderie among fellow anglers, these are some of the countless joys and rewards that fishing offers. And let's not forget, fishing is a practice steeped in tradition. It's an activity that links us to our past while providing a sustainable path to our future. So the next time you cast your line, remember the rich history of this age-old practice and appreciate the joy it brings to your life.